King of kings and the Lord of lords, you will do better. If that clap is for Jesus, you will do better. If that clap is for the giver of life, you will do better. If that clap is for the one who kept you alive, you will do better. Is that the best you can give Jesus? Is that the best you can give Jesus? Is that the best you can give Jesus? You cannot be on your seat and you are clapping for him. You cannot be on your seat and you are celebrating Jesus. You cannot be seated and you are celebrating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If that clap is for Jesus, it's too small. That clap cannot be for my God. That clap cannot be for my God. The hands he has given to you, jab it for him. Hallelujah. Amen. There are so many people who cannot clap their hands. There are so many people who cannot move their hands. There are so many people who cannot move their body. You are not in the mortuary. You are not in the general hospital. Your hands are now hand up at the body. Your hands are not tied somewhere. That hands is because God gave it to you. Can you wave that hands and worship it? Can you wave that hands and worship it? Can you wave that hands and, hand and appreciate it? Say thank you, Jesus. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Can you say thank you, Jesus? Can you say thank you, Jesus? I can't hear your voice. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Lord will give you praise. We'll give you praise. We'll give you praise. Orebi Jesus, kosi la ye yi. Jesus ni kolore oti to. Bobo a ye yi ne koba si ne. Shuka Jesus. God can never, never forget his own. I don't know if you know that God can never abandon his own. He said if a mother cannot forget her baby, the child she breastfeed, how much more God who has made you? If God who has made you and I can send my thoughts towards you and the thoughts of peace to give you an expected end. That God is committed to settling you this year. That God is committed to visiting you this year. That God will not let you go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you say, Father, speak to me? Can you say, Father, speak to me? Can you say, Father, speak to me? I have come to receive from you. I will not leave you the same. In Jesus' name. Can you shout a better amen? Amen. Can you shout a believing amen? Please take your seat. 
I'm sorry I came in late. I had program this morning. I think I was going to stay this morning. When I came in, I met her mommy leading the prayer. Though I came in a bit late, but I was blessed by that prayer. Mommy, I celebrate you, man. I appreciate the grace of God upon your life. May the Lord continue to take you higher, man. I'm happy to finally meet you. I've been waiting for the day I'll meet you one on one. And finally, today I have seen you. I want to say thank you for everything. Thank you for pointing us to Jesus. Thank you for holding on to the faith. May the Lord continue to empower you. To fire man, may the Lord bless you. May the grace of God be multiplied in your life. You will never go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. To everyone seated here, I pray for you. May the Lord show himself mighty in your life. You do not hear me. May God show himself mighty in your life. Your amen is standing on one leg. I say may God show himself mighty in your life. You don't understand that prayer. He cannot show himself in your life. There will not be struggle. If the Lord shows himself in your life, it means that your prayers are answered. If the Lord shows himself in your life, your prayer points will reduce. If the Lord shows himself in your life, you will not have to sweat before you get this. When the Lord shows himself in your life, those who open with that struggle, when the Lord shows himself in your life, before you call answers will come. May the Lord show himself in your life. This will be easy for you. So I pray the prayer for you. May the Lord show himself in your life. In the name of Jesus. May he show himself mighty in your life. May he show himself mighty in your life. The theme of this convention or conference says carriers of his power. I will try and be fast. I don't have much time. Carriers of his power. Power is not gotten through grammar. You cannot get power by speaking English. You cannot get power by jumping up and down. Power is not even gotten from the book you read. Power is gotten from a place of encounter. But before you can become a carrier of his power, you must have relationship with the owner of the power. And to be a carrier of his power, you must have time to stay in the place of waiting. For the Bible made me to understand, after Jesus left, he says, study ye in Jerusalem until you are endued with power. And that is why you can become witnesses of me. So power can only be gotten from the place of waiting. Power does not fall on just anyone. It takes waiting. It takes encounter. For you to be a carrier of the power. Because of my time, I will talk about man in the Bible. We know her very well. Deborah. From the book of John chapter 4. If you look at from verse 4 downwards. The Bible said there is a woman called Deborah. She sits under the tree to judge the people. Her name is Deborah. And she said judge in the land of Israel. And the Bible says this particular woman. She sits under a tree. To judge the people. Out of thousands of men. 
and other thousands of women where woman was singled out to become a judge and the question I ask where were the men where were the other women one woman who knows who she is became a judge and she judged both the men and the women she was a woman like you and I she was a regular woman like you and I but something made her different something distinguished her something made her to stand out she was carrying a personality she was carrying a personality and the person she was carrying made her unique the person she was carrying made her special the person she was carrying made her powerful in the bible no other woman was recorded as a judge except Deborah she was not a regular woman she was a warrior she was not a regular woman she was a fighter and let me make something clear to you she was not just a judge she was also a wife and she was a mother so which excuse do you have to say you cannot do this thing which excuse do you have to say you cannot carry the power which excuse do you have to say God cannot use you it is not enough for you to be married it is not enough for you to have children God is in need of you there is something that God has deposited in you there is something that God can do through you and you are available to carry that power Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 he said now I come in the volume of a book as it is written of me to do thy will O God Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 before I found thee in the belly I knew you and I ordained you to be a prophet unto the nations so before your mother get back to you there is something concerning you and there are things that God has deposited in you there are gifts in you there is power in you authority has been given to you but the question is are you living the life that God has destined for you it is an error for you to be a woman and you lack power it is an error for you to be a woman and you live in fear it is an error for you to be a woman and you don't know your place in Christ so many years ago Sinai sang a song she said I know who God says I am what he says I am where he says I'm now I know who I am so many of us sang that song but how many people know who they are it is so easy to sing how many of you know that song let's sing that song together I know who God says I am uh -huh. where he says I am mm -hmm. where he says I am I know one more time I know who God says I am what he says I am know who you are do you know who you are my discover is so easy for us to chant some words mommy it's easy for us to be saying some things because everybody is saying it but we don't have understanding of that thing so many people sang that song but so many people don't even know who they are and until you know who you are the devil will always mess you up until you know who you are situations will always mess you up until you know you who you, you are ordinary rats and war gecko will mess you up you see where gecko you are shouting Jesus, Jesus, Jesus there are so many people when they say something 
to start calling their pastor. They call their prophets. I don't have any issues with you calling your spiritual authority. But I have issues with you not understanding who you are in Christ. If you are a carrier of power, the devil cannot torment you. If you are a carrier of power, when you appear anywhere, situations will give way. If you are a carrier of power, when you walk into your place of business, you will be astounded. If you are a carrier of power, anywhere you go to, you become a solution provider. If you are a carrier of power, even in your place of work, they will always look up to you because there is something different about you. Deborah was a carrier of power. The Bible says that the children of Israel sinned against God. And the enemy came to fight with them. And they called the king of the land then, Bala. He said, gather your men. It is time to go to war. You will win. And the man thought and said, I will not go to anywhere. Can you imagine? Men are the ones that go to war. But the man said, I'm going nowhere. Because the man understands that there is something about this woman. The man had an understanding that the woman is not just an ordinary woman. And he said to her, If you will not go with me, I'm not going to go there. You don't understand. She was a normal woman like you and me. But the man had to go to her and say, Come and lead us. Where is it done that a normal woman will be asked to lead people in battle? She was a carrier of the power, she was a carrier of the presence of God. She became a carrier of the covenant. Confident of victory. And she said to him, there is no problem. I will go with you. But be sure today that the Lord will give the victory in the hands of the woman. It has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with who you are. The question is, who are you? Are you a carrier of his presence? Are you a carrier of the power? Because of my time, many people cut short. Something happened to Jacob. The definition of his name means the subverter. He was known to live a fraudulent life. But one day he said to himself, Enough is enough. I need a change of story. I want this old nature to die. I want something different to happen. The Bible says one day, one on journey. He took time to separate himself. He told his family to go ahead. And he entered the secret place. He went to a different corner. He said, tonight I will rest too. I will not leave here until something leaves me. He said, I'm not going to leave here until something leaves me. And the Bible made us to understand that that night an angel came and rested with him. On a good day, if you are fighting with a human being, if not two fights, one hour. By the time it's one hour, you are exhausted. All of you go just shout, 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 shout. When I go share grace, they go in the house. To be continued. If the fight lingers, two hours, there is no fight that will last for six hours. It's not possible. But the Bible said, because something needs to happen in the life of a man. And because the man was tired of where he was, he decided to fight from night to morning. Bible did not give us the number of hours he fought. Bible only said he wrestled. Wrestling is not gisting. Wrestling is not laughing. Have we watched wrestling before? We have watched wrestling, right? You see the way they use their body to do everything. One man did that from night to morning with an angel because he wanted a change of story. In the morning, the angel said, Look, let me go. 
it is an error for humans to meet me here and he says something to him I will not let you go unless you bless me and the angel asked him his name he said what is your name he said my name is Jacob he said from today you shall no longer be called Jacob you will not be called Israel because you have rested with God and man from that day his identity changed from that day everything about him changed don't we don't talk about Jacob don't we have Israel as a nation don't we is not about Jacob don't it is about Israel he has to wrestle to carry the presence he has to wrestle to carry the power nothing happens by chance nothing happens by mistake nothing happens by gimmicks everything happens at the place of encounter everything happens at the place of waiting if you cannot wait on him you cannot carry the power if you cannot wait on him you cannot carry the presence if you cannot wait on him you cannot carry solution that your generation needs if you cannot wait on him you cannot carry the result that you need if you cannot wait on him you cannot make a difference if you cannot wait on him nothing new will happen carriers of his power carriers of his power every time we must go back to the place of waiting today when you see men and women that God is using it is not by speaking too many grammar English does not bring down the power of God you can have masters in English he does not command results you can speak more than everybody it will not bring down the glory of God what brings down the glory of God what can move the hand of God is when you are dead to the flesh when you have died to the flesh completely that is when you can carry his presence a normal human being cannot carry the power a regular person cannot carry the presence you must die to the flesh before you can be a carrier of his power. Some people can spend six hours praying. By the time they come back from their prayer room, everything they pray, they waste it gossiping. Some people can spend 12 hours fasting and praying. By the time they come out, they'll use gossip to spoil everything. Hey! Power is not powder. Power is not in grammar. Power is not in gisting. Power does not just fall. Power does not rest on a normal human being. Until you put the extraordinary before you can begin to manifest certain levels of power you cannot be a regular child of God you cannot be a regular Christian and carry this power power is not cheap you do not hear me power is not cheap power 
there is a price to pay before you can gain that price there is a price to pay I used to tell my women any woman who cannot negotiate on her knees any woman who does not have a secret place any woman who does not have a time of fellowship that woman will fail in my room I have a corner nobody goes near that corner that is where I go and lie down at times I can be there for three days just talking to God listening to messages I just want to fellowship with him I just want to have communion with him I just want to have communion with him by the time you come out from your secret room you see God resting upon you himself by the time you come out from that place of intimacy you will see his power and his glory it is not what you pick on the floor it is not what you pack from the floor it is not what you get to play it is not what is gotten on my ground there is a price to pay to be a carrier of his power there is a price to pay for you to carry the presence there is a price to pay if you want to be a woman of valor there is a price to pay if you want to be called an Amazon there is a price to pay if you want to make the difference in your family in your marriage in your generation there is a price to pay nothing happens by mistake so many of us cannot even fast from money to three many of us don't even know where our bible is we only open bible on sundays many people don't even know how to worship god and you want him to move God is not a magician. You don't have relationship with him. As a woman, how will you now raise your children? How will you raise them? If as a mother you don't have relationship with your maker. I went somewhere some time ago. I went to see a family. And the TV was on. They were playing some music on the TV. And the whole children sang all the songs. And I was looking at them. I would tap even up to the two year old boy. They know they sing as all worldly songs. I allow them to finish up. And I off the TV myself. That one I sent myself to off TV. And I told them to line up. I saw you start praying one after the other. Come and sit cry. I said pray. Everybody started crying. Prayer passed. I saw you all of you will recite Bible, recite, oh, you do Bible recite for me. Up to the child that was 15 years, could not recite Bible. And I said, okay, no problem. How many gospel singers do we have? How many do you know? Mention their name and sing the song. As you are looking at me, I was busy looking at all of them. And what broke my heart? Their mother is a pastor. Pastor ni mama Somebody say error. Error. You did not hear me. Somebody say error. Error. It is an error for me to know God and my children are left behind. You must first of all be the first pastor in your home. And you must live by example. Your children must learn from you. When they see you carrying his presence, they must align. They must follow that path. What they see in you is what they will imitate. What they see you display is what they will carry. And I said to the mother, I said, You have failed. And God will require this one from your hand. Because you will give accounts of how you raise your children. How can you be praying and your children are dancing to what this song? Then I told her, You are not qualified to be called a priest. The Lord will help us. I said, The Lord will help us. Amen. 
Amen. The Lord will help us. Amen. We will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh. Our children will not miss it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Our children will not be named after a wasted generation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Carriers of his power. I don't want to read much. My time is already over. Carriers of his power. How many people want to carry the power? How many people want to carry the presence of God? Do you know that if you're a carrier of this power, if you walk into any place, you see someone that is sick, you are just saying in Jesus' name you are healed. And it's happening instantly. You see someone who is oppressed. And you say in Jesus' name you are free. It is happening already. Because the Bible says, at the mention of that name, not at the mention of your own name, when you say Jesus, everything begins to happen. Everything begins to align. But you cannot call that name. If you don't know that name, you cannot call that name. If that name is not residing in you, you cannot call that name. If that name is not living in you, you cannot call that name. And there will be results if you don't have a relationship with that name. Are you a carrier of his power? Are you a carrier of his presence? No wonder Moses said, if your presence will not go with me, don't bother to send me. Why will I go if you will not go with me? It is not possible. Because when I go there, I will mess up. When I go there, I will be fought. When I go there, nothing will happen. If you don't go with me, I am alone. Can we all rise on our feet? I don't have much time. Can we all rise on our feet? I don't have time. My time is even far spent. How many of us want to carry this power? Fireman, please just give me five minutes. How many of us want to carry this power? How many of us want to carry this power? Just leave those hands to him. Just leave those hands to him.
Toni kada babu si ika kada baba. Kede ba shoki imbraya babole entani. Dosi ki imbaya kada baso tene. Ne kade baba baba baya na kada baso tene ne baso tene. Ne toni kada baba baya na kada. Nothing will happen. Nothing happens by chance. I have just three minutes before I drop the mic. When the power rests upon you, naturally chains will be broken. For your deliverance is come.
Father, I will give you praise. Lord, we'll give you praise. We'll give you praise. Can you just wave those hands to him? Just wave those hands to him. Just wave those hands to him. to pray just one prayer our mommy has blessed us she has prayed for us but I want to pray just one prayer just lift up your hands to God There is a song they sing in Yoruba that says, Majen Shela Son Oluwa. Only your own cover man called New Yoruba. That says, Don't let me labor in vain, O Lord. And there's also another one that says, I will not come and go the same. And I want to pray that prayer for you. That coming here is not to come and look at anybody. That the next time you will come back here for this program, you will come with your testimony. Your amen is not loud enough. That the next time you come back here, when you come, you'll be sure that I have a testimony. When you come, you'll be sure that I have a testimony. The next time you will come back here, you are coming back with your testimony. That your amen is not right. I said the next time you are coming back here, the testimony will not just be only you, but it will extend to every member of your family. It will extend to your children. It will extend to your family members. Even to your workplace. In the name of Jesus. In a few hours' time, we will enter the eleventh month. But I pray for you. Can you open your two hands? You will not enter the month empty. Amen. And you will not end the year empty. Amen. You do not hear me. Hey, you will not hey, hear me. Hey, I hey, say you will not hey, enter the month empty. Hey, 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 and you will not end the year empty. Hey, hey, you will not enter the month empty. Hey, hey, you will not end the year empty. Hey, hey, you will not enter the month empty. Hey, hey, you will not end the year empty. Hey, 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 you will not There are people that will still testify next week. There are people that will still testify next month. There are people that will testify before December. My prayer is that you will be among them. You will be among them. You will be among them. Your place 
blessings will not pass you by. Your blessing will not pass you by. Your blessing will not pass you by. Can you shout amen three times? Amen. 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 Amen.